Hi, so my name's Karina. I decided to do my presentation final project on tulips, um, specifically the genus Tulipa. So just a little bit about the classification. Um, under the family Lilicea um, is the genus Tulipa, which is tulips as we know them. Um, there are currently 76 species. They occur from about southwestern um, Europe to North Africa and Central Asia. Um, there are currently 76 species and there are 6,000 cultivars registered at the moment. Um, and they are classified by their bulbs, which are covered in a thin tunic that is hairy on the inside. Um, they are also one of the largest family of monocots um, and plants. Another thing is, is that polyploidy is uh, common in tulips. Employees can be found in the native populations. Um, and a little bit more about the range of these tulips. So they, this is a distribution map of tulips and the dark gray areas are the native ranges of the tulips and then the light gray areas are the naturalized range of the tulips. And so Tulips have been no first known since about the 12th century. Um, the first kind of documented human painting or picture of a tulip is seen in 13th century Turkish art. Um, and they actually became pretty popular in um, Turkey and a pretty important symbol. Um, so these are some examples of the Turkish art. Um, of tulips and so around 1500 they became a national symbol under the rule of Suleiman the Magnificent um, and tulips were incorporated incorporated into almost every design um, all across the Ottoman Empire and Ottoman horticulturists um, they began to specialize in tulip bulbs and um, because of that, they became super popular and um, prices began to skyrocket um, as people were becoming more um, interested in the tulip bulbs. But the prices were um, eventually controlled and capped off by the mayor of Istanbul um, in order to control the prices from getting so high. Um, and Western traders eventually encountered these flowers um, when they were in the Ottoman trading and they brought them back to Europe where they eventually found their way to Dutch elites, um, which led to something called tulip mania. Um, so tulip mania occurred in the Netherlands from about 1634 to 1636. Um, so this here is a painting which kind of illustrates um, it's a little bit of a satire on tulip mania. Um, so tulips in the Netherlands gained popularity. Um, they were a sort of a symbol of class and they were popular with the elites. And since they gained popular popularity, um, prices soared. Um, interestingly enough, those involved in the tulip market were more interested in trading um, the bulbs of the tulips rather than the actual flowers themselves. Um, the prices of these bulbs were so incredibly high that um, it's said that houses houses would sell for the price of a bulb and bulb eventually became um, a form of money. Um, but eventually tulips did lose their value and they said that the traders became bankrupt um, and that it caused economic collapse. Um, fortunately not so fortunate for those involved um but this was not actually true only a few people had actually been truly affected by the collapse of the prices of the tulips um and it was just the people who had uh, a lot of investment into the tulips um so basically the tulip mania story is just an exaggeration but tulips are still pretty significant in the Netherlands. They are still um, a national symbol and uh, pretty big in tourism. Um, they bulb in March and they bloom. Um, and there's a lot of tourist attractions such as this one here. It's a little river cruise. And the Netherlands are still super popular for 
their tulips and they look incredibly beautiful and I hope to visit them one day. Mm, thank you.